Oh, good. This stuff looks interesting. I can't imagine what that they have in common, but I bet you're going to tell us. All of these objects were made by the M.C. Lilly Company here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, the company started in 1862 as bookbinders, and uh, by the 1880s, they were one of the largest manufacturers in the country of materials related to uh, fraternal organizations. I see. Well, let's start with the largest item. That's the, the flag of Ohio flag. Well, this is the very first Ohio flag. Really? And uh, this is uh, the design that was created by John Eisenman that became uh, our state's flag in 1902. Is this the only state flag that is in a rectangle? Yes. Uh, it's a swallowtail pennant, sometimes called a burgee. What do the stars represent? There are 17 stars, and the 13 along the hoist represent the 13 original colonies and then there are four stars that represent that Ohio was the fourth of the new state. So there's 17 stars in total that we were the 17th state in the Union. And the red circle and in the white circle, what does that symbolize? The red circle represents a Buckeye. Okay. And the, the circle represents Ohio. So the Buckeye has been associated with Ohio for a long time. Yes. The gown is a ceremonial gown made by the same company that made the flag. And this is the candidate robe that was worn by uh, Warren, President-elect Warren G. Harding when he uh, was admitted into the Masonic Lodge. The sword in this scabbard is beautifully engraved and detailed. This must surely be ceremonial with this amount of uh, work on it. Yes, it's a presentation sword. It says, presented to Captain George Converse, U.S. Army, by Governor's Troop B, December 25, 1902. So it's a Christmas present. Yes. This would fit in a stocking nicely if you had a big stocking. <laughs> did they also make swords that were used in combat? They did. Uh, they offered a variety of uh, both service and ceremonial swords. So from bookbinder to ceremonial sword, that's quite, quite a story for a company here in Columbus. They um, survived all the way to 1953. Well, this is a great collection, very impressive. Thanks for sharing it with us. Certainly.